YouTube, this is me, NextGen Slayer. I'm going to give you a nice tutorial on how to live stream to Twitch TV or Justin TV, all for free. All the applications you need are for free and are in the description right now. Uh, basically, all you will need is a capture card and uh, like an Elgato capture card or a PVR. It works for any type of capture card and also the programs that I'm about to show you. So I'm going to give you a quick introduction on the programs you need. By the way, this tutorial, unlike most tutorials, does cover how to get audio into your live stream. Just want to put that out there real quick. Uh, but the first one you need is CamTwist. What this does is records your um, screen, such as what mine is. Mine's the Elgato I'm using. So it records whatever, um, whatever game you're playing, this screen over here. Uh, so and you can add effects to your live stream and then that goes to flash media live encoder which I'll get to in a second but next you need line in two line ins actually um what this does is uh basically it just it takes your audio of what you're saying from uh your mic and uh also it also records the game volume so that's why you need two ones for your what you're saying and ones for your game volume and other people's voices uh next is soundflower bed this just takes the line in the two line ins that you have down here and uh mismashes it together but you do need two line ins because you cannot open up uh you cannot just use one and open up a new window you have to have two and uh I had some trouble downloading two, like putting two in the dashboard and getting two, or two in the dock, I'm sorry, two in the dock and getting them uh, both open. But how you do that is basically you just download uh, two of them and place one in the dock and then the second download into the dock too. And uh, like I said, Soundflower Bed just combines these two. And this brings us to Flash Media Live Encoder. What this does, it takes the screen recording of... Uh, from can twists and also the audio from line ins and uh, soundflower bed and just combines it all together uh, where all you have to do is just set up a few more things and uh, hit the start button and boom you're live streaming so that's just an intro to what we're gonna cover today uh, cam twist is what you first want to open and um, also I'd have your uh, capture card open too just to start it up you don't you need it open uh, when you open cam twist uh so you can take the screen recording and all and set that all up so um my computer's going to be running a little bit slow today so uh bear with me i'm sorry uh it's just the screen recording it's taking high quality 720p uh but once cam twist opens if you have not used cam twist before you're going to have to click on the menu up here go to cam twist and hit preferences you see i clicked on cam twist and then went down to preferences and it pops up with this box right here so ignore video apps and video devices and just go to general and uh, audio output device uh, I use 16 channel I don't haven't really experimented with this but this just is what works for me uh, you can also use 2 channel maybe I don't know just use 16 channel you can experiment it with yourself uh, in your own time but I just use 16 channel next is your frame rate uh, keep it under 30. Uh, if you have a fast computer, you can do 30. Uh, but I use 25. You're going to have to match this up later with your settings in uh, Flash Media Live Encoder. So just remember what you use. Uh, you'll need to remember this right here and also the frame rate. So next is the video size. This just um, covers, of, covers what you're uh, going to be uploading to like um, live streaming to like 720p 480p as you can see I use 480p just because um, anything higher makes my live stream lag and uh, to do that I would go to custom they have other settings here uh, but custom works best I mean you can use what they give you uh, like they have one set up but I just use custom uh, so once you do that you have to click off that uh, click out of cam twist just so the settings will save uh, but if you didn't change anything then you can keep cam twist open so I'm just gonna keep tw cam twist open to keep this rolling uh, next you need desktop plus this records your sc screen this pops up uh, under the settings as you can see you can also add a webcam here um, to your up to your live stream 
but I haven't really tried that out. The way someone said is you click on webcam um, and use it in effects and use, I think, and then use PIP to position it and all. Uh, but I'm not really going to go... Sorry, I'm trying to speak fast, but uh, I'm not going to go into depth with that too much just because I haven't tried it and I don't want to experiment in this tutorial. I'm going to try and keep this straightforward. So you can use effects here for your live stream, such as like text, put some text on your screen and all that. Um, use like a logo, there's logo effects in there. But you guys can experiment with that. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep this simple. So you can do that now or you can do it later during your live stream too. Uh, but once you have the settings, you're going to want to keep this the same and make sure you confine it to application window. This is just so if you use full screen, it's just going to record your whole desktop like I'm recording right now. But if you do uh, confine to application, you would want to go to your um, capture card. In this case, I'm using uh, the Elgato Game Capture HD. Uh, and once you do that, make sure it's resizable selection. And then select your area. As you can see, like a box pops up right here. Whoops don't want to move that uh, but you do want to move the box to confine to what you're uh, gonna be recording so in this case I would uh, sorry I'm trying to make it smaller you would want to make it smaller just to fit your screen just because I don't want the whole uh, the whole editing software to be upload live streamed I just want what is going on in the game to be live streamed and right now you can see uh, whoops okay yeah the game volume might you might have heard the game volume earlier uh, but now it's muted so uh, you want to do that and once you're finished selecting your screen size hit done selecting okay and now you're finished with that you can also add effects like I said uh, but we're gonna minimize that and now we're gonna move on to uh, where is it line in so you want to open up both your line ins and uh, Make sure you don't close that completely, just minimize it. Uh, and so it pops up with two, you just move this one over. And uh, I believe I told you you need to download two to get into the dock earlier. Because uh, you have to have two, otherwise you can't do it. It only records either your voice or the game. Uh, it doesn't record both audio if you don't have two. So, like I have, I have my USB selected, so you need to have a USB selected and also uh, 16 channel. Down here the output has to be 2 channel on both so let's start from the top. So your input up here is going to be USB uh, headphone set. That's just what I'm using uh, to record what I say in my live streams. Whatever headset or uh, mic you're going to use you want to select such as like uh, you can also use the built-in the built-in internal microphone that comes with most Macs but uh, I choose to use my USB and next you need 16 channel input down here and then 2 channel output uh, make sure that's selected output should always be 2 now you're finished with that well, wait never mind sorry you have to hit pass through so I would hit pass through on your mic what you're using first and then you want want to hit pass through on your other one down here and so as you can see uh, this is what I'm saying right now and then this is the game volume over here I think uh, game volume might be down here I'm not sure but you want to have exactly like this this just makes it work and then uh, minimize that you're finished with that now uh, where do you want to go you want to go to system preferences so you can open it in your applications or in my case it's in my dock uh, so once you're at system preferences go to sound right here and now it's loaded so your output should be whatever microphone you're you're gonna use this works for me because uh, you need it has to be like this so it can take in your sound otherwise it just does whatever the computers making the sound like if the computers like playing music it'll only play music it won't take in your voice so your output has to be your USB mic or whatever microphone you're using input should be soundflower 2 channel as you can see uh, by the way, I put my uh, volume all the way up for my input. Output can be all the way up, um, too. Uh, so output's all the way up now, too. And click off of that. You're finished with that. Now, once you did that, 
uh, you can also use Soundflower Bed. Uh, it'll pop up an app, pop up a little icon up here in your menu. I just leave it the way it is. I don't mess with it. Should be none and none uh, for 16 channel and then two channel. If I mess with it, uh, might screw something up. It's just really confusing, so I wouldn't mess with it too much. Just leave it at none. I close that out, and uh, now Flash Media Live Encoder. Now you're to the big uh, boom. Yeah, this is what brings everything together. Like I was gonna say, it's taking a minute to open, so just give it a second, please. Once it opens, I'm gonna show you the settings of what you should have it as for your best quality. Um, no, thank you. Just hit no, thank you there. So I'm gonna start under video uh preset custom works best you can like try try the settings that they use uh but i would use custom just because uh that seems to work best for me and uh most people and the device that you're using should be it's this is all set up all saved for me it should be cam twist don't use build in eyesight unless you're trying to live stream a webcam video um format should be h h dot 264 um, that works better than VP6 for most people so just keep it like that frame rate and uh, input size let's go back to that real quick cam twist remember under cam twist when we went to preferences we set it up it ha was 25 frames per second for me and uh, 640 by 480 you want to make sure those settings are matched with your uh, Flash Media Live encoder. Otherwise, it'll just screw up the quality of your video. And uh, for me, when I, fr I it took me a while to realize why my video quality was so crap. It was like five pixels, people said. Uh, but that's why. You have to make sure it's the exact same as your cam twist. So mine was 25 frames per second and 640 by 480. And your bit rate you should keep under um you should keep under 1800 i use 800 uh but 800 is probably the best it works good for me um now on to audio it, your device should be soundflower 2 channel format aac mp3 doesn't seem to work too well with people and channels you can use mono or stereo it's whatever your preference is stereo just um uh, seems to give better sound for uh, me especially it's almost like surround sound mono is kind of like through one speaker stereos like goes back from one speaker to the other speaker back and forth uh so it's whatever your preference sample rate uh i use 4000 44100 so 44100 uh, that works best for most people too that's what i've seen in other tutorials that people use and uh seems to work fine for me uh, bit rate, I would keep under 112, 112, I use 80, sometimes I use 64, it's whatever works. And then this is just your uh, total bit rate, as you can see, 800 plus 80 equals 888 kilobytes per second. Now to your options. Um, you're going to have to have your URL of what you're streaming. Um, this is usually just in TV for people, so you can copy this down. This is what I did. I copied this down from another tutorial, and it just live streams to your page as long as you have a Twitch account. Um, as you can see, this is my stream code right here. You can't see the whole thing, otherwise uh, you'd be able to copy it, and I'm not going to let you guys see it. Otherwise, you guys could possibly stream to my channel, and I don't want that. Uh, I might even change it after this. So this is not my stream code that I'm going to continue to use. But you do have a stream code. Uh, if you go to Twitch and go under settings, um, somewhere it shows your uh, your uh, stream code. Um, then here I would just use uh, degrade quality, not drop frames. Uh, it's whatever you want really here. And uh, make sure you connect it once you have... Uh, have this all set up your stream code in and your uh, URL make sure you connect it just so it stays connected and uh, save to file you can actually save to file uh, what stream you're using um, this was my last stream and uh, that's basically it and if you hit start it's gonna live start live streaming directly to your twitch um, I'm not gonna live stream just because uh, I don't really want to right now but uh, 
I will show you www.twitch. One second. Uh, actually, I will start live streaming. Just this is basically where the live stream goes. So right now, give it a sec. It's gonna pop up with just a picture. I'm not live streaming right this second, but if I do hit start, it does live stream. Uh, and so that's basically it for this tutorial. Uh, I'm just gonna show you what the live stream looks like now. See, it's not live streaming, but uh, I'm gonna hit start real quick, and uh, it should pop up. Give it a second. Okay. Now there is like a five second delay for most live streams, and um, so yeah. And basically, up. Oh, there, sorry, there's a. Uh, there's a um, ad right now, but uh, it's going to live stream and show you the live stream in a second after this uh, ad. And you can go back, like I said, to Cam Twist and add video effects, like I said. And now there's a uh, echo, but uh, yeah, that's basically it. And now there's, uh, echo, I'm going to stop the live stream. Okay, so... As you can see, that's the little live stream that was going on. Uh, but that's basically it. If this tutorial helped you, please uh, like, favorite, and subscribe. Uh, I, I appreciate it if you at least gave this a like. I uh, hope this helped. Sorry it was a long tutorial, but uh hope you enjoyed. Thanks. Peace.